Friday last week, a federal high court in Lagos sentenced Idris Okunye, Okunye, apologies, uh, who we all know as Bob Risky, that one comes easier, yeah. <laughs> six months imprisonment over abuse of the Naira. Now, apparently, the penalty for this offense is six months in prison, option of 50,000 Naira fine, or both. But he was charged without the option of paying the fine. And according to the presiding judge, Justice Abimbola Awogboro, this would serve as the deterrent to others. Now, this story has a lot of reactions yeah. in the coming days, in the immediate hours after the announcement of the sentence of Babriski. I guess I believe it's probably started it already. We've heard from the head of the Nigerian Correction Service, and that's the former prison service, saying that he would be uh, in the male population but would be in sort of like a protective situation. But according to do uh, court documents, he did declare his gender as male when he was asked by uh, the honorable judge. And, you know, people have started, is he the transgender he claimed he is, yeah. all the surgeries he has claimed he has done. But I really don't think that's really the big issue mm -hmm, for me. Mm -hmm. Because, so, abuse of the Naira, this is a, a crime. The FCC is able to charge him with this crime. But one, he's the second person we've seen charged with this crime so far. We had the uh, Nollywood, the Nollywood actress, actress last year who was yeah. charged, also went and served her time as well. He's been charged, found guilty as well. We've seen more videos since he started his time in court. Yeah. So I don't know. Questions are, is this what the EFCC should be chasing? Is it such of a big issue? What do we think? Uh, over the weekend, I was privileged to listen to some people, different people talking about it. And some would say, some are of the school of thought, that the, they actually gave him that punishment because they know that if he was given the option of the fine, he probably would become a repeat offender. Because if it's just 50000 mm -hmm. and it's something he can pay, yeah. he might begin to make a mockery. But of, that's the first it's step. just, I said, a school of thought. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how you well. bite me. <laughs> that <laughs> it would become something that they would make a fanfare of. Like, okay, is it not just a fine? And the next, he would have kept his one million naira for the next couple of offenses. So they wanted this to be like the maximum of it so that he can thoroughly curtail um, anything that might come out from it. I'm not even going to lie. I think there's more to this, right? Because within that period, Bob Risky was not the only one who sprayed money. We know. And there are video evidences everywhere. everywhere. Even people have said it, right? Mm -hmm. So this is more an issue of... And then there was also the, the thing about, you know, very... What's his name? Black, very dark, dark man. man. Very dark Shadow man. man coming out to say that, you know, if Bob Risky is not arrested. And that's where the question comes in. Is there a subtle... Um, you know, is there something more? Are they but, channeling it towards cross-dressing? Because but a lot of people thing have said is, it. But the thing is, in law, mm -hmm. once you have, once whatever the judge has in front of him, they is cannot the only way that he can another uh, indictment. Type of sort of sentence or so crime. they can't. I so whatever that. you know, it's not, it's not even the judge. It's, it's what the judge. they're going to judge based on. It's all right. So there cannot be an inference of his cross-dressing because in Nigeria, cross-dressing is still not against, against the law. law.